Hi guys, this is Tabia Sobi and Todori. Today we're going to go through what I consider to be the best weapon from Furfield Island early in the game, the Poison Needle. Ah yes, the Poison Needle. Looks pretty simple. Underwhelming even with its sharp pointy thingy. And with its plus 20 attack, it's actually less powerful than the Barbed Blade, which has plus 28 attack. Now why would I use a weapon that's almost 30% weaker, at least as far as attack points go, than the Barbed Blade. Barbed Blade. <laughs> Gosh, Barbed Blade. Well, that's because the Poison Needle has a special trait. It actually has a chance to cause instant death. Now, it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough times for me to notice and make my life easier when I'm fighting monsters in Furrowfield. I mean, I don't think it works on bosses, because that would be too cheap <laughs> or too OP for a weapon, but I've seen it work on almost everything else. And so I'm talking regular enemies, you know, peon enemies, and also like orcs. I mean, there will be times when I find myself fighting an opponent with a lot of hit points, like an orc, and then all of a sudden I see them drop, even though they still had like, you know, half health or even more than half health sometimes. And I'm like, what the heck happened? And then I remember, oh, I'm using the poison needle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't believe me, here's footage of me fighting this giant enemy crab. Historically accurate giant enemy crab by the beach. And it's one of the sort of uh, special monsters in the game. And look how fast I end up killing it with the poison needle. Things got more than half of its life left. So it pretty much procs enough times for it to negate the damage deficiency it has compared to the barbed blade. And so by the time I finally crafted this thing, it pretty much became my exclusive weapon as I was going through Furrowfield. So how do you get the recipe to make the poison needle? Well, to get the poison needle, you actually have to fight a special enemy. I'm talking about the giant caterpillar on the southern part of the map, just northeast of the Hargon Church. So if you navigate the hillsides just near the church, you're going to run across this giant caterpillar thing. <laughs> I forget what the actual name is. And yeah, it's, it's a beauty. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's so nice and puffy and chubby. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> this game, man, I love this game's monster designs. So yeah, you just need to beat this boss. And the good thing is the boss is actually not that hard. I mean, I could have probably killed it earlier in the game than when I did. I just thought it was going to be hard, and so I just kind of left it a bit for later. But its patterns are really easy, and so as long as you're paying attention, you shouldn't get hit. Yeah, I mean, if you go try to kill him early, Maloroth might end up kicking the bucket, but you could just, you know, pick him up, <laughs> lay a straw bed down somewhere safe, and then just plop Maloroth there. Yeah, so as long as you pretty much stay the monsters behind, and then try to avoid that poison attack that he does once in a while, you should be golden. Now, once I got the recipe, I don't think I was able to make it right away because I was missing one key ingredient. So to make the poison needle, you're gonna need one grass fiber, which is pretty easy to get. You're also going to need one bramble, which is those spiky things that you see in the swamp. That's pretty easy to get too. But the other item that you need is called night soil. And it's this pink looking thing and for the longest time I was wondering where I could get it because I was going all around Furrowfield and I've never seen it in the wild so actually when you start fighting zombies then you're gonna be able to get night soil as a drop but the easiest way to get it is for from the toilet <laughs> seriously I am not kidding you get it much more easier from the toilet so Eventually, as you go through Firefield, you're going to get a mission from, or a request from Clayton, the farmer who doesn't want to be a farmer at first, <laughs> but has farming in his genes, so he can't resist plowing fields and stuff once he sees like a scarecrow or something. Anyway, Clayton is going to make a little request for you to make a little room. And <laughs> apparently he was doing the deed somewhere out in the wild or something, and he either gets attacked by a monster or gets seen by one of the villagers. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> one of the female villagers. Anyway. Yeah, so he's gonna make a request for you to make a toilet. <laughs> it's a pretty easy recipe, you just need to make a pot, which you probably learned 
from the first part of the game when you were trapped in a dungeon and there was a pot that served as a toilet. So yeah, you just need a pot and then a towel rack or something. And you don't need that much space, you know? So just put a pot and a towel rack and a little space and voila, you've got a toilet. And as you can see, the toilet is a really popular room. <laughs> I mean, look at these guys <laughs> and the comments they make while they're lining up, then using the toilet, and then after using the toilet is pretty hilarious to us. One of my favorite <laughs> moments in the game. <laughs> and given the way I built my facilities, they're all like right next to each other. And so as you can see, sometimes I'll just go <laughs> climb up walls to line up for the toilet. Oh, what a harsh life. I'm like the worst city planner ever. Oh my gosh, these poor people. But yeah, once you get a toilet, you can get pretty much a steady supply of night soil, which is what the poop turns into. Magically. It's even pink. I mean, what, what the heck are these guys eating? I mean, I feed them a lot of cabbages. <laughs> so it should be, probably be green, but it's pink. So I guess uh, it's a special world. I don't know what goes on. So once you get the night soil, then... That's pretty much like all the three materials you need, and you can make your poison needle. Yeah, just head to the crafting bench, put all the stuff together, and voila! You're ready to insta-kill a lot of scrubs. Anyway, this video probably has been way longer than it should have been. <laughs> I can't stop rambling. I apologize. But yeah, that's how you craft the poison needle, which I consider to be the best uh, weapon, at least while you're doing the first island of Furrowfield. So what weapon do you consider the best in the early part of the game when you're doing Furrowfield? As always, feel free to leave any thoughts or questions in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabia Sobi and happy poisoning. <laughs> or, or thank you for watching, actually. Really, I appreciate it. Thank you.